Hey guys, this is Dave, and today I'm going to show you how to find and play levels in Atmosphere. So on the main menu, I'm going to go to click on play. Now make sure you're connected to the internet here. Uh, you're, we're going to have to connect to the Atmosphere servers and find all the cool levels that people have made. So you're going to need an internet connection for that. If you don't have an account yet, just click the create new button down here and you'll be able to enter a new username and password and all that fun stuff. I've already got one though, so I'm going to type in our tutorials account. I think that's the password. Let's try that. Yeah, okay. And it's going to load up uh, all the different levels that people have made. And now I can start to look through those. Okay, so we're in the global community. Over here on the right, we get the latest news and updates. So this is going to change a lot and it's going to show us if uh, there's a new update to the game, if there's a new jumpstart episode, a new design challenge. So make sure to check this out before you start playing. Over here we have the level filtering system and this is going to show us what type of levels are appearing down here below. So right now the default is newest additions and this is going to show us always the latest and greatest new atmosphere levels that have come out. All these levels down here have been uploaded within the past two to three weeks, something like that. But if I want to try something different, uh, not just newest additions, I can click on this drop down menu and I have several different options like highest rated, most played, players club levels, or my stars. So for example, if I want to find all the different levels that I've starred before, I can check this out and uh, it'll take me to that section. I'm going to go back to newest editions though for now. And it's going to load up that list again. Okay, if I go over to the search box over here and I type in a term, it's going to search all the different levels for in the level name and the designer name. So if I search for beginner, let's say I'm new to atmosphere and I want to find a beginner level, I search for that and levels or designer names that have the word beginner in them are going to show up. Now I'm only searching within my given filter right now, which is newest additions. If I wanted to search every level that's ever been uploaded to Atmosphere that has the word beginner in the level name or the designer name, then I'm going to have to go to the all levels filter and click on that. And then that's going to show me all the different things that, uh, that have beginner in them that have ever been uploaded to Atmosphere. Over here we have the different section titles, sorting titles, level name, designer, rating, and plays. And you'll see how things are being sorted by the little blue arrows. Right now they're being sorted alphabetically A to Z by level name. And if I click on this, I can change the order that they're being sorted in. Same with designer, rating, or plays. And if I move over here, I'll see a screenshot of my current highlighted level. I can see a description about the level and then I have the option to play the level, to edit the level if it's been uh, unlocked, left unlocked by the designer, or report the level if it's something obscene and doesn't belong on Atmosphere servers. Uh, so I'm going to play this level right now and I can either click the play button or I can double click uh, the level name over here. I'm going to do that and hopefully within a couple of seconds I will uh, download the level and be able to start playing. Alright, so I'm starting to play this level. This looks like a lot of fun. I'm going to start it off. And I can play around with it a little bit and check it out and see, see how it's going. But let's say I get tired of it or bored or I want to move on to net, another level. Then I just press the escape button and that will bring up the pause menu. And if I click on menu down here, it's going to take me right back to where I left off. And then I can go play another level or whatever. If I want to return to the main menu, I just go down here to back to main menu or press the escape button and we're back. All right, so that's it for this little tutorial. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.